go. So some general car moving around at the old workshop. It's on your blinker again. Scratch in the corner of your blinker, the friggin' little bit of metal that hangs off the front of the bar, off the front of the car. Oh, down a little bit. A bit sideways. <laughs> Definitely works though. Didn't break your blinker, but you chopped the bottom off the bucket. Looks pretty straight now. Four clips are for pussies. <laughs> Get this friggin' arm under. watching this video <laughs> welcome back we have got some awesome parts that have arrived today well, one part has arrived today for our new section of our build that we'll be doing silver sam's going to get some upgrades 
Yes. So here, here. Jake, can I show you? We have a package. What's inside that package? Stuff. We don't know. We have an idea, but we honestly don't know. We've never bought one. This should be a Malwood T56 to Ecotech conversion or adapter plate and stuff. And I believe the bloke, the awesome bloke, he sent me some extra parts. So we got a transmission mount as well. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Not sure if he watches the videos or not, but thank you. Looks like the bottom of the bell housing. And some bolts. Now, I did buy it off here. It is technically second hand. Um, still, he never used it. It's still brand new. He just obviously unboxed it. And then he said his plans had changed for his car. And he never ended up using it. So, it's still brand new, never used. As far as I'm aware. Oh, dust cover. Dust cover, we've got all the bolts. The crazy looking ones. That's cool. We don't need this where we're going. But that's the bottom half. Looks like the bottom half. That's cool. Oh, that's bright. Very bright. And here is the enforcing part. That's it for that. And then the adapting plate. Open sesame. So, as far as we know, we should basically have everything we need. We don't know for sure because we've never done one. There's your bell housing adapter plate. I take it bolts to your block and then adapts from there cool so that's one half of it the other half we've got is in, still in there in the drift car <laughs> when it's still the drift car gearbox for now um, we'll still if we plan on doing any track days we'll just pull it back out slap it back in there Sam can sit in the car park um, not that hard. We do stuff like that all the time, so it should only take us half an hour. Pull the box out, put it back in. So we can do that easy enough. But the other cool part that we got, we went and picked up on the weekend, is corn fed boosts. We got his old clutch out of ethyl. So this is the clutch that was. Um, what making 750 horsepower rear wheel horsepower yeah out of his ecotech with his t56 so got a flywheel off him his plate which is what do you say you can get that rebuilt it's just been rebuilt not long ago um and a button clutch pressure plate so she should handle some power if it was handling 750 in his car it should handle Wherever we throw it, Sam, for now anyway. One day we might have to upgrade, but this is a good starting point. We're just not sure if we need anything else. We do have all the bolts and stuff. Um, hopefully tail shaft, we can make fit, make one. Make one out of something because obviously one's a ute and one's a sedan, but should be able to make something fit. If not, we just stripped out one of the, our other cars yesterday we bought as just a wrecker we're gonna we might end up using his tail shaft because that's an auto 
auto tail shaft and just chuck it in there. Auto manual, same thing. So we're gonna do that. I don't think we got anything booked in today. If we don't have anything booked in today, we'll be doing that today. And we'll let you guys know exactly what you need, what you don't need. So you can go out and do your own T56 conversions. Um, it'll just be a little bit of a, I'm not sure what we'll do. Probably just do a little updates here and there. Let you know what we've done, how we're doing it. And can't wait to get bloody Sam with a T56 in it. The old glass jet rag is held on bloody well. At least I'll be able to do big clutch dumps with the T56 in it. Nice. Skids. So yeah, we're gonna move some stuff around, move some cars around, and we will get the SS up on the hoist and drop his little box, touch his box. <laughs> See you soon, guys. So, we've got gearbox out of VYSS drift car, and just looking at the remnants of all the filthy crap. Remember how we did the shed skid? And we had the blue tires on when corn fed come down. Well, look at this. This is what blue tires do. That's obviously a little bit of rear main seal leak. Wouldn't be an LS if it didn't have that. Look at all that blueness. It's everywhere. Super blue. Gets everywhere that stuff. I think it'll be the last time we do a shed skid with bloody yes. coloured tyres on. Never put coloured tyres on a nice car. It'll yeah. destroy it. Yeah. Not, not a good idea. So, yeah, as big gearbox is out. We're going to drop him down, make sure all the bolts are back in here so we don't lose him. Push him out, bring Sam in, and strip him down and see what we can do. See if we can work out how to bolt this up, see what we need. And get it done. So the Sam's in here. Getting there. Most of the way stripped down. The old jetty rags out. BJ's clutch still mint. She's coming back out so we can fit the bloody weapon of a clutch over there in. Making good progress. Hasn't taken us long. We've not really even been rushing. And it's been a bit over an hour to get to this point. Yeah. Two cars. So now we're gonna pull the clutch off flywheel, put the adapter plate on, um, and then make sure everything lines up. Jake's cleaned the bell housing out a little bit. Might do give a bit more of a clean up. Got all that blue crap out of there. And then we're going to got to do a test fit and make sure, see if we got to space out the slave cylinder. We may have to space out the what's it called centri centri cent centrifugal centrifugal centric plus cent centric something center, something like that center pushing device. Yeah, <laughs> that's I think it's called a centric slave or something. Centri yeah. concentric. That sounds right. Something like that. You get the point. <laughs> we know what it does. We know how to use it. We know the sound it makes when it blows tires off. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, clean him up a bit more. May have to space him out, two ten mil bolts there. Um, but we won't know until we get it in there and all bolted up. So we'll just chuck a couple bolts in there, bolt the clutch line up, bleed the clutch, and then do a test fit. Test him, test him out, guys. Let's keep on trucking, eh? Toot toot. That's a train. <laughs> <laughs> All on there. So pressure plates on, clutch plate, flywheel, all bolted up. Adapter plate. The only thing we've had to modify or replace is, I thought we might have to do it, is get an earlier model starter motor. One without the snout, as the snout doesn't fit in this little gap. So it's just a little, it's an earlier model. I think they're like a VS T5 starter motor. 
somewhere along the lines. V, v and a VS, I think, run the same similar sort of starter motor, just depending on the rear that changes. The All the snouts are the same. So yeah, if you buy the Malwood kit, just remember, you have to buy a starter motor to suit, because oh, unless you go modifying stuff, but we didn't want to do that. Went up the road to the wreckers, bought a, a starter motor, and yeah. Yeah, it was the easiest way. But yeah, I'm gonna keep on going. Box is nearly ready to go in. Um, we've done some measurements. We don't have to, it doesn't look like we're gonna have to space anything out. So we're just gonna chuck it in there and hope for the best. Should be good. Skids, skids coming up. <laughs> you having Danny? <sighs> so, we got there in the end. Everything's back together. The T56 is in Silver Sam. She's now T56. Crossover pipes all mint. Had to modify it a little bit to get it to clear the T56. As I, when I built this one for Sam, it was for a jet drag, so I tucked it up nice and tight. And obviously I tucked it up too tight that it um, wouldn't clear the T56. So, Remade that, ended up, what'd we do? Got the box in, we had to space it down a little bit at the back to get it sitting level. Tail shaft's in. So tail shaft is a concoction of a manual Jetrag ute, rear half with just an auto sedan front half. And it is perfect length, not too far, not too long, not too short. It sits where the factory marks are. So that's all good. Um, everything else went together pretty good. I had to drill two new holes here to get the mount to sit properly. Just so you guys know, if you just want to do it without buying all the proper equipment, you can do it yourself. Not recommended. It's not fun, but you can do it. Um, unfortunately, we were misled going into this and we thought that the factory Ecotech spigot bush would hold the main shaft of the T56. Turns out the main shaft doesn't stick out as far as the jet drag, so it doesn't go into the um, factory spigot bush. So you have to go get a spigot bearing, which if you ever need to is a 6002, and that goes into the flywheel. And that way you don't get main shaft noise like Silver Sam has at the moment because the main shaft of the gearbox is just flopping around in there. So, unfortunately, we're gonna end this one off here. This will be in today's video or yesterday's video, which will be going up. And today we will be pulling the gearbox back out of Silver Sam and fitting the bearing, reassemble and go for a test drive. Should be good. All right guys, cheers for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. And as Jake would say, just remember, keep it straight. <laughs> just remember, keep it straight.